What up, peeps? It's your boy, the bad boy, Jim Duggan. Just kidding, it's your boy, Hoot. All right, so it's a rest week for me, but I don't really believe in rest because I'm not a pansy. Uh, I think rest is important, but it's not that important if you want to get huge like your boy. Uh, so what we're going to do is 500 atomic push-ups for time. If you don't know what that is, I will include a little video of it, and you're obviously going to see me do a lot of them. I used to do them when I was modeling because I couldn't lift weights, but I still wanted to be mega shredded. Easiest way to get shredded is atomic push-ups. It's almost impossible to get like 20 or 30 of them in a row. It hurts a lot. If you have good form, I'm going to try to go for 500. And I'm going to try to break an hour because I'm not a pansy. All right, so check it out. I'm pressing start on this timer, and I'm doing 500 for time. So that means I should be done in 50 minutes if I do this just right. So, Ooh. Eight, six, four, two, nine, Only eight seconds. You guys like that? All right. So, if you guys have never done atomic push ups before, it's basically a push up. You're in TRX straps. You do a crunch in. You can't cheat it. Don't just whip your legs and you got to curl up in that ball like a heavy sit up. So another fun fact about these things, um, you don't want to put your chest to the deck because that takes all the stability out of it. Another big reason why it's a big core is going to be the fact that you're stabilizing back here. So stop about just past 90 degrees then crank out a few more reps like this. Oh. All right, a bit of an update. I'm taking off all my clothes. Now I'm currently in a man throne. Uh, I'm increasing the intensity. I'm gonna go six every 30 seconds. Uh, I feel pretty good. Honestly, only thing that's starting to get in there is my titties. You can see they're all swollen. That's what happens when I get drunk. So, uh, feeling pretty good. Oh, gotta go six again. Oh. Hopefully, if I keep this out, I should be able to add an extra one on every minute and hopefully be done in under 40. 240 something push ups in. I am starting to for sure feel the back of my triceps and the tops of my pecs. Abs haven't kicked in yet. My knees are on the top. Oh, and uh, I don't know. I just slow down the pace a little bit and I'm hoping that I can get this bad boy done. What are you doing over there? Come on, Nick. Come on, Nick. What's going on, bud? Uh, it's your boy, Hint. Carmel Macchiato mustache. Rock and roll leader. Extraordinaire. I'm feeling it. The pump is real. The veins are, are excruciatingly big. Currently uh, 30 minutes in. If I'm lucky, I'm going to try to break 45. I'm going to start surging near the end. Well, we have me that line. Yeah, more off, man. Mm -hmm. ah. One quick tip, I'm breaking on it. Try to like dive out with your feet and don't bow your belly. And then try to go wide with your elbows and then crank your elbows in. Get you coming for the top of the rep. Tips. <laughs> Mary does and you're a fucking badass. <laughs> Uh. Do I look massive? Yeah. Yeah, no big deal. That's the real deal right there, dude. That's a man pony. Good guy. Also, though, when you're wider and you guys are doing those ones, that's that's last set. Oh, you have to, yeah. Especially for that, because you just got it. God damn. Oh, yeah. That's fucking right. Oh. Oh shit. I'm fucking shredded, bro. Oh, sick. Well, you can tell I shredded your boys, but look at that. Look at that fucking atomic ass right there. Um, so, a recap. If you're going to try to do this workout, I go every 30 seconds. Near the end, you can sprint. You can do every 20. 
If you're not great at push-ups, I just do every 30 seconds and collectively kind of add on every single round and feel better about it. Part two, I like to get my elbows wide, flare out as I go down for extra balance and then torque the elbow in towards your lats as you come to the top and really squeeze your pecs. And then all of a sudden for your abs, draw your butt up into the air, knees in towards your nipples and uh, kind of try to crunch into a ball like you're doing a sit-up. For your legs, what you want to do is you want to squeeze your butt cheeks and point your toes as you go back so you're long as you can be rather than bowing your belly. And it's going to work your quads a lot. Like honestly, I could barely stand up because my quads were so tight. But that's the way to get it done. I think these kind of super high rep workouts are really good, especially if you're like only involved in strength or even if you're an endurance athlete, it'll help kind of put your power output at a higher point and help your suffrage level, like you know, how good you are at suffering, put that level up a lot higher too. So I think these are awesome workouts. I like to do them during my rest weeks because I get a lot more rest and why the hell not.